Hello, everyone. My name is Tony Picciano, CEO of Neurotris Incorporated. And I wanted to thank you for your purchase of the Pico Toner, one of the most advanced personal facial and body sculptors that you're going to find on the market today. Um, and why is that? Well, very simple. A lot of different devices, they use different types of uh, signals. Uh, and, I and each signal reacts differently to your tissues. And um, what makes this device so unique is the uh, specialty of the way this and the sophistication of the engineering that went into this, this device from the battery to the output accessory that will make uh, the desired effects that we're looking for. And you're going to find out by using this device why this is really so special. All right. Now, with that being said, uh, I did want to talk about a little bit about the history of microcurrent. You know, it's been around for a long, long time, and it's been proven safe and effective. Uh, and our history with our pr professional devices and the Pico donor have been overwhelmingly um, beneficial. People have been finding fabulous results with all of our equipment, and you will too. There are some uh, indications that uh, you do need to know about um, uh, when using this device. And generally, microcurrent, uh, what we have found, uh, that sometimes uh, when using the device, uh, your body detoxifies. And that's, that's a good thing with microcurrent. When you use microcurrent, it, uh, it elicits a detoxification process. And the side, of the, 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 uh, side effects of detoxification, uh, you might experience a headache or a nausea, and, um, which is a normal side effect of detoxification. It's just like if you were going to go and get a full body massage, uh, that's also a detoxification process. However, with microcurrent, it's a little bit more faster. So um, when you read the manual and watch the video, you're going to see there are some uh, ways to help alleviate uh, some of those uh, side effects. That's with um, drinking plenty of water, and um, usually those subside over s uh, successive use with the Pico Toner. But uh, other than that, um, you're going to find that you're going to really love and see all the benefits that the Pico Toner uh, has to offer. The next thing I'd like to do is basically go into uh, the operation, how to function the Pico Toner, how to turn it on, uh, type of accessories that come in the box. Patricia's going to come in later and show you the protocols, basically the movements with the different accessory options and the different output accessories that we have that, that uh, the Pico Toner can be used with. All right? For now, I'm going to show you uh, the box. Well, basically, the Pico Turner comes in a nice little box like this. Okay? When you open the box, you're going to find the accessories that are included with the box. You have the Pico Turner device itself. The Pico Turner comes with um, the cable. And this cable is what you connect to your output accessory, whether it be the gloves, the probes, the face pads, whatever you're using uh, to deliver the special signatures. Um, so this is the actual Pico Toner module. Next thing you're going to see in the box are the silver sculpting gloves. Now, these are really neat, these gloves. And these gloves are specifically designed for our equipment, you're going to find out that these are the best sculpting gloves you're going to find on the market today. They are give you the best conduction that any other glove. The quality of these gloves are next to none. You're not going to find a better quality. If these gloves don't last you three years with proper care, then uh, you're, you're not uh, doing something right. But these gloves will last you a long, long time. You will not find another glove that is going to last you as long as these sculpting gloves will last. Poly inserts. Now, what these inserts are, um, we use these before we put the gloves on. And these inserts prevent the current from going into your hand while you're doing a treatment. Now, you do have the option to do a treatment on your hands 
while you're uh, doing a treatment on your face, and we're going to show you how that works. But you have the option to do one or the other with these poly inserts. The next thing you're going to find in the box is uh, some ion conductive spray. Now, this is some really neat stuff, and what the ion spray does, it helps uh, smooth the conduction through the whole surface of the glove during the treatment. It gives you that little extra edge uh, during the treatment. And this particular formula is our formula, and it is made with natural Mediterranean sea salts, no color, no perfume, no parabens. So uh, this is very, very, very good quality uh, conduction uh, spray you're going to like. The next thing you're going to see in the box is an actual training video. Now, it's very important you do watch the video. Uh, there is a manual with it, but without the video, the video has mostly all the information uh, you're going to find on how to do the protocols and how the device operates. It also comes with the battery and a Velcro strap. Now, the Velcro strap is used to mount the pico toner on your wrist uh, while you're doing the treatment. Uh, so uh, it's very important to have the strap on too. So lastly, you're going to find a little uh, travel bag. This is a Velcro bag, and you can use this bag to take the pico toner and some of accessories when you're traveling, so it makes it convenient. So you also have that. So these are the accessories that do come included. There are also some optional uh, accessories, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit later. But for now, what I'm going to do is show you how to um, turn on the Pico Toner. Okay. So basically, we're going to show you how to uh, place the battery is the first thing, um, which you need to do. So if you look at your battery, most batteries have a little plus sign. The plus sign indicates the positive side of the battery. All right? Now, the positive side of the battery needs to go to the positive side of the Pico Toner. The way you tell the positive side of the Pico Toner is the red snap is positive. So you want the positive side of the battery to go towards the red snap. So we put it in like so. Now the battery is in place properly. Okay. Now I can take the cover, snap it in, and now we're ready to go. The next thing I'm going to show you is basically how to turn it on. Very simple. There's a center button on the Pico Toner. You can see that, that button right there. When I press that button for a second or two, you will see it flashing P1. And if I press it again, you'll see it'll flash P2. Well, basically, there are two programs, okay? And I'm going to tell you about those programs later on. But right now, uh, we're going to keep it on P1, okay? Now, program one uh, basically uh, does the, um, the face lifting and the wrinkle reduction and the radiance and color. And what you're going to need to do next is once you select your program, you're going to need to set the intensity level. I'm going to show you how you determine your s intensity level, but basically, to adjust the intensity of the Pico Toner, you would have to hit the plus sign. The plus sign increases the intensity. So what I'm going to do is go up. You know, you see when I press the plus sign, it goes up in 5% increments, okay? So we always like to start at 15%. That's a good starting point. So I'm going to hit it once, 5, 10, 15. Now I have set the intensity level, okay? Now after a few seconds, generally about 20, the Pico Toner is going to lock. The screen will lock, and you will no longer be able to adjust the intensity levels. It will stay at 15%, okay? So I'm going to wait here till the screen locks because what I'm going to do is show you how to unlock the screen if you need to make adjustments during your treatment. You might find 15 might be a little uh, underpowered for you, so you're going to need to increase that intensity. All right? So and when the screen locks, uh, the it will show you a countdown timer. Uh, the Pico Toners have a countdown timer starting at 30 minutes. 
That's right, 30 minutes. However, the treatment session was only 20 minutes. The last 10 minutes of the countdown is a reserved spot. There should be no current transporting uh, for the last 10, 10 minutes of the use. So the picotoners have that reserved last 10 minutes in case we want to reprogram it and give you more features later on down the road, which you can download. But for now, they all have 20 minute uh, current programs running, okay? And then after uh, 30 minutes, the device will shut down and will no longer function. Or after 20 minutes, you're, you're, you can turn it off and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so now you can see that the countdown timer, uh, the screen locked and it's counting down from its um, time it originally started. And if it, it flashes from uh, P1 to the actual countdown time and that's not 28 minutes. So if I were to hit the plus button, you can see it's not increasing the intensity. Why? The screen's locked. So how do we unlock it? Very simple. You hit the center button once. Hit the center button. Now the screen is unlocked. So now I can go up in intensity. 20, 25, 30, you see? So I can adjust this intensity level or I can bring it down. 30, 25, or 20. So whatever is going to be your comfort level. For now, I'm going to keep it at 30%. Now, if I don't touch any buttons, the screen's going to lock again. And I'm going to have to go through the same unlock process if I want to make any other adjustments during the treatment. But for now, I'm going to leave it at 30. Okay? So, just to recap and review, basically I showed you how to put the battery in, I showed you how to turn the device on, and I did show you um, how to um, select your program, P1 or P2, and then I showed you how to adjust the intensity levels for each of the programs, all right? Uh, when we go down further, I'm going to explain a little bit more about the each program and how it works with your output accessory, okay? But for now, we're just showing you how to turn on a device and set the levels. All right. Now, after my 20 minutes, you know, uh, I want to turn the device off because, you know, it may still count down for another 10 minutes. If I want to turn the device off during the session any time, very simple. You have to unlock the screen. How do we do that? We press the center button once, and now I scroll down. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. When you get to zero, now the screen turns off, and I just shut down the unit. So that's a way to turn it off, okay? All right. So now we know how to turn it on, and now we know how to turn it off. Very simple. Let's set this aside for right now. All right. So the next thing I'm going to go into is actually showing you how to connect your, um, your output accessories that you can use uh, with the device. Okay, now what I'm going to do is show you how to connect the output accessories, for example, the gloves that do come with your Pico Toner, onto the Pico Toner, all right? So, now, the first thing we're going to do is remove your pair of gloves from the bag that it comes in. And gloves work on either hand, but what I prefer to do is have the snap on the outside of my wrist because it just makes it easy to, uh, to do a treatment like so. And... Um, now, what we want to do is prepare them uh, for use. What we do to prepare them is place the gloves under your tap water uh, so they're nice and wet. Once they become wet, you want to take them like a sponge and wring them out so that there's no drippage and, and they're just damp. Once the gloves are damp from the tap water, you're going to want to just, for now, just set them aside because there's other preparations we need to do first before we put the gloves on. So, once the gloves are prepared, I'm going to take the Velcro wrist strap. Now for me, I just like to happen to have it on my left hand. It's just easier for me to do it. And I'm going to take the strap fairly tight like so. Okay, so now the Velcro side is ready to, uh, for the Pico Toner. All right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is prepare the inserts because the inserts... I'm going to put on because I don't want to do treatment to my hand at this time. So, the 
these inserts are also ambidextrous. They'll work on either hand. And voila, they are both there and ready for the gloves to go on. Now I'm ready to put the gloves on. So what I'm going to do, again, I did mention that I did want the snap on the outside, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this glove on my left hand so that the snap is on the outside. And I'm going to put the other glove on my right hand so that the snap is towards the outside of my wrist, just to make it easy. So now I have the gloves on. All right, so now we're ready to place the Pico Toner. And if you look at the back of the Pico Toner, of course, remember we put the battery in already, so we're ready to go. It has a Velcro strip that allows it to stick onto the back of the, um, uh, the Velcro the strap on my wrist. And the way I'm going to want to do it is I'm going to want to make sure that the buttons are facing me so that I can easily control it. So I'm going to press it down nice and secure, and now it's on my wrist. All right, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is prepare the gloves with the ion spray. Very simple. You know, 5 to 10 squirts. Some people use 15. Um, you're going to want to place uh, about 10, 5, 10, or 15 squirts on one hand, 5 to 10 squirts, 15 squirts on the other hand. And what this does is it prepares the gloves to give a nice, smooth, even conduction when you're doing the treatment. Okay? I like using the ion spray. Um, will it work? There was a question that came up. Will it work just with water? Yes, it will. But the ion spray is made on a natural uh, Mediterranean sea salts, and it's going to give that nice, smooth conduction to give you the best possible results that you're looking for. So I recommend using the, uh, the ion spray. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to snap the uh, Pico Toner onto the gloves. Now, I like to put the positive on my left hand. I'm sorry, the negative. On my, on my left hand, <coughs> excuse me, and the positive on my right hand, like so. All right. As you can see, I'm now ready to turn the Pico Toner on. So what we're going to do to turn the Pico Toner on is, if you remember, uh, we're going to hit the center button. This might be upside down for you, but it's the way it's going to be when you're going to see it. Hit the center button, and now it's going to flash P1. And now I'm going to start with 15%. Remember, we talked about 15%. Uh, okay, as a good starting point. All right? So now it's set. And again, in about 20 seconds, the screen's going to lock out, and you're not going to be able to make any changes. Okay? So I'm going to start with program, run, program one. And we have two programs. Program one is uh, for your a more aggressive program for facelifting, wrinkle reduction, toning and tightening, more improved radiance, and, and so forth. So that's going to be your most aggressive program you're going to want to use. And um, I'm going to start with that one today, and I'm going to start at 15%. So the question comes about is, what level is going to work for you? Now, all skin types are different. Everybody has a different skin resistance and a skin impedance. It's not the same um, between every single uh, person. They're all going to be different. And what makes this Pico Toner so unique is that <coughs> it has the current levels that are adjustable to compensate for the skin resistance. Now, you're going to find on the market a lot of devices do not take in consideration these skin impedances when they're built, and they're uh, actually underpowered. The Pico Toner gives you the appropriate power level settings to give you the appropriate current and signatures delivered to the tissues to give you the best possible results. It's the only device on the market that's going to do that with its special um, engineering and technologies that went into this device. All right? It's very important that, they, that you calculate the skin resistance in order to get the proper delivery of the current and the signature to the tissues. Now, how do we determine what level that is? Of course, we're not going to sit here and do mathematical formulas to calculate what that value should be, but we made it very simple for the user. And this is how you set the level settings for your Pico Toner. You start at 15%, just like so. Okay? I'm at 15%. The gloves have been prepared. They have been wet from the water, and they also have the spray from the ion spray applied. So I'm going to take the gloves and use about three or four fingers and place it on my forehead like so um, 
with it on. And I'm going to feel a little tingle. Okay? Um, but right now, I don't feel much of anything at 15%. So what am I going to do? I'm going to increase the intensity. Again, everybody's going to have different sensitivities. You're going to want to set this level to your comfort. Okay? So for me, 15%, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. So how do I do that? I have to unlock the screen. To unlock the screen, remember, I hit the center button once, and now I go up to 20. Well, I'm going to go to 30, bring it up to 30. Now I'm going to put again the gloves on my forehead. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little tingle, but you know what? I'm going to go up a little bit more. So I'm going to go to 35. Okay, I feel comfortable with that. So I'm going to leave it for me at 35. You're going to find what your trigger point is going to be. It could be 20. It could be 35. It could be 45. Everybody starts, uh, can have different um, levels of, of, of uh, comfort and sensitivity. Start out in the beginning on the lower side. So what I would do for the newbies is bring it to the point where you feel the tingle and then back it off down about 5% uh, down. Uh, and then you're going to be um, at, at a good level, I would say, to start your treatments. Okay? So... For me, I'm going to leave it at the 35 because I've been doing it. And then um, what we're going to do is later on down uh, this, this training video, we're going to show you how to use these protocols and the types of movements that are required for P1 and P2. Okay? So when I'm starting with Program 1, Program 1 is going to be, I told you, for the wrinkle removal, uh, wrinkle reduction, toning and tightening, facial um, radiance, color, and increasing uh, circulation. Now, what is recommended? We recommend that at least four times a week that you can do the picotoner. Some people do it more. Some people do it less. But we're finding that when you, you, you are more aggressive with the, with the sessions and treatments with the picotoner, the results have seemed to have been uh, very, very, very impressive. Again, it's not like any other type of microcurrent device. So do not compare with other devices. Sometimes you can, too much is no good. But with the Pico Toner, with its sophistication and engineering, it's going to give you the perfect amount every time. Okay? So I'm going to do my 20-minute session on P1 today. So how about when tomorrow comes? I'm going to want to do P2. Program 2 is going to give you collagen, elastin, and it's going to give you more circulation and more radiance and, and plumping of the skin. So what I'm going to do to set it to P2, again, is I hold the center button and I scroll. What I do is I have to actually uh, turn the device off. By holding it down for about four seconds, the device will go off. I turn the device back on. I hit it twice. Now it's programmed for P2. And you set the level for the programs the same on P2 than you do on P1. But you've got to remember, P1 is more subtle, smoother program, so you can always go a little higher. As where I went to 35% on program 1, I can probably go uh, a little bit higher. So I'm going to start on P1 because I know 35 worked for me. I'm going to try it. Uh, you know what? I think I can go to 45 on program 2. So I'm going to take it to 45. Okay, that works for me. Again, what works for you is different. So now I'm going to do my 20-minute treatment on program two. Again, you alternate program one on one day, alternate program two on the other day, and you do this for a total of four days a week. So you're going to really do program one uh, two times in, in one week, and program two you can use on the other two uh, days within that week for a total of four uh, treatments in a week. And that's what we recommend. Again, some people do more, and they're finding great results with it. Some people do less, and it works well for them. But what we're finding is that 90% of our customers are really finding some great, great phenomenal results with this, and so will you. Okay, so that's basically how we uh, prepare uh, the, the device to be used with the gloves that do come with the Pico Toner. All right? Again, uh, later on in this session, Patricia is going to show you how to what type of how do you, how to use the protocols that, uh, with with each of uh, of the programs? Okay, all right. So now 
I did my 20 minute session. Now remember the clock is still, it's a 30 minute countdown clock, so it is gonna count down another 10 more minutes. But I, I, I wanna turn it off. So the way I'm gonna do that is I hit the center button and I scroll down until, you scroll down until it goes to zero and then it'll shut off like so. Now the Pico toner's off. I disconnect my Pico toner from my strap. I take the gloves off. Take the inserts off. And take the strap off and I am done for today. All right, so now that's how you set the gloves to be used with the Pico toner. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do now is show you some of the optional output accessory items that are available for the Pico toner. And really, you know, this Pico toner is no other device that'll give you all of these options in one little personal handheld. Uh, most devices are, are you just use simple metal probes where this device uses gloves. You do have separate facial probes or you have facial pads. And some, some even you, it's difficult to even find these options in most professional machines for over $10,000. In a little personal handheld unit, you have it all available to you. So. What we have here, I'm going to show you right now, are the optional facial probes. And Patricia is going to show you how um, these probes are to be used on the um, uh, with the Pico toner. And um, they also have removal tips that you can uh, uh, use. There's a large and a small tip depending on what area of the of the of the face you're treating, and you can buy extra tips. Uh, depending on what uh, your treatment you're doing. We also have facial toning pads to, s to treat specific meridian points of the skin if you uh, want to do that. For example, say you want to focus on a, uh, an eye lift or uh, a neck lift, you can use the facial pads. And they also connect to the Pico toner. We're going to show you how that works. We got uh, our own... Uh, conductivity gel that you're going to, uh, if you're going to be using the probes, you're going to need some kind of gliding um, medium. And we, we have two types of gels uh, that you would want to uh, purchase. And these gels are uniquely manufactured for our company uh, by our uh, bioregenerative laboratory. And the first gel we have is a basic colorless, odorless, no parabens, uh, very, very concentrated gel that's used to help uh, glide the probes on the skin and also provide a conductive medium uh, for the special currents. The other type of gel that we have is a stem cell, a molecular gel, and it comes in an eight ounce bottle. And this gel gives, uh, the, the stem cell molecules also help rebuild your own cells on your skin, which can give you more of an improved look and texture to your skin. Very, very neat. It's, it's made with 10% stem cell molecules and it uh, works with the microcurrent and our Pico toners. It's, it's custom designed and formulated for our machines. And again, there are no perfumes, there are no parabens, and there's no color, and it's all natural uh, gels. So these are very good products that you can use uh, with the Pico toner. All right, so now what we're going to do is connect the uh, facial probes to the Pico toner. Um, what we're going to do is place the uh, Pico toner again on the Velcro wrist strap. All right. So if you notice that the cable has uh, a removable snap, and when we're going to use the probes with the Pico toner, you're going to want to remove the snap like so. There you go. You want to save these because these work with your gloves. 
And if you look at the probes, the probes have an adapter that will mount the probes to the picotone. And you can see they're color coded. Uh, red indicates positive. You plug in your positive. Black is negative. You plug in the negative. Now the probes are now connected to the pico toner. What I'm going to do now at this point is uh, prepare my skin uh, to be used with the probes. Now, depending on what gel you use, whether you're using the stem cell gel or the regular gel, uh, you're going to want to have some conduction medium uh, with the probes on your skin. And Patricia's going to show you how to work all that. Okay? And um, basically, you would then turn on your pico toner and set your level and do the protocol. And then we're going to show you how to do that uh, a little bit later. Now I'm going to show you how to use the gloves at the same time when you're doing a hand treatment and a face treatment with the Pico Toner. So it's very simple. We'll take the Pico Toner device and mount it on the wrist strap, which I already have on my hand. And we're going to place that like so. The next thing we're going to do is make sure the gloves are prepared to uh, go on our hands. Now, of course, remember we talked about damping the gloves under the sink with water and wringing them out. There's two ways to prepare the gloves for a hand treatment. Number one, you could use the ion spray. So instead of spraying the glove surface, I'm going to spray 10, 15 squirts on my hand, on both hands, one on 10 or 15 squirts on my left hand, and 10 or 15 squirts on my right hand. And my hands are now going to be prepared for the glove treatment. So my hands are wet with the ion spray. I'm going to put the gloves on because they're already damp from the water without the inserts. Okay. And now I'd be ready to connect the Pico Toner. Now, there's another type of, of conduction medium you can use other than the ion spray. For example, if you have the, 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 the benefits of having the uh, stem cell gel, I recommend taking advantage of the benefits that the stem cell molecular gel is going to give to your hands. So what I would do is I would open up the gel, I would put, oh, maybe a teaspoon size on my hand. I would rub it all into my hand. And now I would put the gloves on. So that's another option you can do. This way, you get the benefits of the stem cell gel treatment on your hand in addition to the microcurrent. So now my hands are going to be treated because I don't have the inserts on. I'm going to place the electrodes on. And now I'm ready to turn on the Pico Toner. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the Pico Toner on and I'm going to increase the level. Because remember, 15% is where we start. Because you have to notice that I'm treating both my hands and my face at the same time. So I really don't feel much. So you're going to have to increase the intensity um, a lot more than what you do if, if you're only doing a face treatment. So remember, at 35 was okay for me when I did the treatment, but still, uh, I, I should go higher because I don't feel anything. So I'm probably going to go, for me, 50%. Okay, for me, I feel a little tingle, so now I'm, I'm going to do my treatment. So now remember, part of the current is being transferred to your hands and treating your hands whether you're using the ion spray or stem cell gel. And I'm going to now do a treatment on my face. So I'm getting two treatments at the same time, a hand treatment and a face treatment. Okay, so that's, that's another option you can do with the Pico Toner that you can't do with many devices is to treat both your hands and your face at the same time. All right, I'm going to show you how do you uh, connect the uh, optional facial pads to the Pico Toner. Now, the 
facial pads come in, in, in a bag of 24 pads. And um, it's very simple. Uh, the Pico Turner has two uh, connections to it. Again, you've got to remove the snaps because the snaps only work with the gloves. Okay? And if you were to only use the Pico Turner cable, you can only connect two pads. All right? You have your positive, red, and your negative, black. And now you have the option to connect two face pads. Now, we have another optional cable that will allow you to add four face pads onto the face at one time. So I'm going to show you that quad cable. Now here's the quad cable. And basically you plug in the red, positive, to the red, black, negative, to the black. And if you look at the other end of the cable, it actually has four connections to allow for four fat pad placements on the face. So you, this will give you the ability to have two on one eye and two on the other for a full face treatment over the eye, for example. And it's very simple. You know, you plug in your face pads, positive, negative, and you would take these two pads and place them over one eye, and now the positive negative would go on to the other eye. So this would give you a static uh, focus face treatment, maybe for an eye lift uh, when you're doing it uh, with the face pads. Or you can place them on the jowls for, instead of using the gloves one night, you might want to do uh, a 10 or 20 minute treatment um, on, on uh, your, instead of using the gloves with, with the face pads. So this gives you another option. Basically, it's another tool in the toolbox that you have. Okay? And keep in mind that the Pico Toner will work great with just the gloves alone. This is just another option. A lot of people like to have options to do different things. And it's just another tool in the toolbox for you. And you might find a use for them. And it's there as an option. All right, now I'm going to show you how to use the probes with the gloves at the same time to both do product penetration for ionophrenesis and also to get a hand treatment. Now remember, you have the probes. We'll, we'll do a couple of things for you. The probes will also uh, do the facial toning and tighten, tightening that you're going to get with the gloves with more specific treatments with specific areas with the probes. And you also have the option to use the probes to penetrate products like our stem cell gel. So um, there's a couple of ways to penetrate the product with um, with using the probes. One, and Patricia is going to show you how to manipulate the probes by itself when you're penetrating the product. Also, another way to penetrate the product and get a hand treatment at the same time is using the gloves along with the probes. So, very simple. I'm going to put some of the stem cell conductivity gel onto my hands. Remember, we use about a, less than a teaspoon. And I'm going to take it and rub it in. Remember, the gloves were already dampened with tap water. And I'm going to place the gloves on my hands. Okay, but before I do that, um, I'm going to want to set up my um, cable, my quad cable, because we're going to need the quad cable uh, attached to the Pico toner before we attach everything. So, it's again, it's color coded. All right. So we're going to set that aside for right now. And again, I already have the stem cell on my, on my hands. I'm going to put the gloves on over the stem cell gel that has been. No inserts, remember, because if we, if we use the inserts, we're, we're, we're going to block uh, one of the poles and not be able to get the treatment. So now I'm ready. I've already attached my quad cable. So what I'm going to do for this particular treatment, which will both give me a face treatment, a hand treatment, and product penetration at the same time. No other device will do that. We're going to replace the snaps back on to the cable, the quad cable. Now notice I'm using both black snaps on, on the quad cable to put the snaps on. Because remember, when we're doing product penetration and the treatment for this particular protocol, negative black is going to be on my hands. Okay? Both black snaps are on the glove for this treatment. 
The next thing I'm going to do is connect one of the probes, the positive probe, to the Pico toner. All right, so what we're going to do is connect only one probe. And the reason for this is the positive is going to be coming out of the probe, going penetrating the product into my skin at the same time giving me the benefits of the facelifting and wrinkle reduction while taking the current and going into my hands from the probe to the negative on my hand. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attach the positive probe to the positive red quad cable loop. So now I have everything connected. All right? All right, so the positive probe is connected to the positive end in the quad cable, and the two negatives on the quad is connected to the gloves. So you see how that, that works, where I now turn the Pico toner on, set my level. Remember, we started at 15. Okay, I have my level set for 15. And now I'm going to take the probe and start doing my protocols, which Patricia is going to show you. Okay. Now also remember, you're going to want to put some of the stem cell gel on your face, too. So what I would have done was taking a little bit of the gel and applied it also to my face and the skin because you want to have some gliding medium because I'm penetrating this special product into the skin, okay? Now, again, I may or may not feel it, so I may have to, for me, 15 is a little low, so I'm going to want to increase the intensity to oh, maybe 35, okay? So that feels good for me right now. Whatever works for me, um, I, may, I may drop it down to 25. Because now, with this one probe, I'm getting a treatment on my hands, penetrating the product, the special product to get the benefits of the stem cell molecules on the skin, and doing a hand treatment. There is not a device on the market today that will do all of that at one time with one little small powerful device. Patricia's going to show you the movements for this. Okay? This is another way to do it. Now remember, some of the things I did want to talk about with microcurrent, you know, people talked about, you know, um, when you're treating, especially with the probes around the eye area, you might see what we call flashes of light. And that's normal with microcurrent with some special signatures that you're going to see this phenomenon. And what it is is just the optic nerve is just picking up the special signature. It's not harmful. It won't cause any adverse effects. It's just a normal um, uh, response to the microcurrent. So if you see the flashes of light, don't worry about that. It's just a normal effect with the microcurrents. Uh, the optic nerve is just picking up the, uh, uh, the signals. All right? And remember, with these devices, and this is why the Pico toner is set this way, you, you want to be able to make these adjustments in the levels, especially if you're doing you know, combination treatments like this, because um, you have to have a device that is, has the ability to make these adjustments, and the Pico toner is one that will allow that allowing you to make these adjustments to your comfort level while at the same time giving you an effective treatment, okay? And again, with these, if you're doing a face treatment with the probe, you have the option to change the tips depending on uh, what you're treating. Say, for example, you wanted to change the tip to a smaller tip. We have smaller tips here, which is on, for example, this probe. You can replace the tip and put it on... Uh, the probe in order to maybe do your lips to uh, get some plimp plumping or around the eyes. So you have the option to, to change over the tips however you want to do it. But this is a pretty neat little, uh, little feature to be able to uh, treat your hands, penetrate product, and also treat your face all at one time. Pretty neat. And Patricia's going to show you some of the movements for that. All right, I went over uh, how to uh, function the Pico Toner, how to set your settings. I went over um, some of the benefits that the Pico Toner has to offer. I also went over the accessories that do come in the box and that are included and how to work the Pico Toner with just the gloves and some of the optional accessories that you can use in order to get other enhancements with the Pico Toner. And keep in mind, the Pico Toner is an awesome little device. It works phenomenal with just the gloves alone. But to have the extra tools in your toolbox, 
like the probes and the face pads, is just another benefit that you can do in order to get some of the desired results that you may or may might want to add with the gloves. So for now, um, what we're going to do is close here, and I'm going to have Patricia come in and show you some of the protocols uh, to be used, uh, some of the movements that you're going to be able to do with the gloves, the probes, and how to specifically pl fa uh, place the face pads on your skin when you're doing a treatment. All right? So thank you very much for your time, and I'll have Patricia come in now for you. Hi, my name is Patricia and I'm Director of Sales and Training for Neurotris. Today I'm going to be going over the protocols for the Pico Toner. The Pico Toner help is able to treat the face and the body and there's different modalities you can use to do so. There's the gloves, the probes, the face pads and I will be going over each one of those with you later. There are two programs for the Pico Toner, P1 and P2. First, I'm going to go over P1. P1 does refined lines and wrinkles. It does facial lifting. It does tightening, toning, brightening of the skin, minimizes pores, gives an overall radiance, and much more. So you can do a 20 or 40 minute treatment, and I'm going to give that, get into that a little bit later. There's actually four movements to use for P1, glide, cinch, erase, and hold. Okay, now we're ready to start our treatment, but first I want to tell you it's good to get in a nice, comfortable position, like sitting on your sofa or your bed, or you may even want to be in front of a mirror for the first couple of times that you do it. The timer is set for 30 minutes, but it only delivers a 20-minute treatment. So you will still see it counting down, but after 20 minutes, you will no longer be getting a treatment. So it's very important to know. The next thing is when you're doing a 20-minute session, I want to explain the different um, frequencies. There's two frequencies in a 20-minute program, and that is the first 10 minutes you get one frequency, and then it changes over to another frequency. That is also important to know when you're doing this 20-minute treatment on your face. So Getting to where you're doing a 20-minute treatment, I would like to show how that would be done. So when you're doing the treatment, you're doing five minutes on one side of the face, and then you're doing five minutes on the other side. Now you know that's 10 minutes, so now it's going into a different frequency. So then you come over the other side of the face and do five minutes, and again return to the other side of the face. That is a total of 20-minute session. So that way you have an even treatment. Okay, I already prepped my gloves, they're ready to go. What I did is I wet them and then I sprayed it with the ionic spray. And so my gloves are all prepared and ready to go. Next thing is, is setting my level. I'm going to turn it on and that's going to be on P1. And I know my setting could be Mine might be 50, but what I like you to do is start out lower. I mean, I don't start out to 15. You can always increase the intensity. Remember, you just want to fill it. So it's not like you have to stop at 15. You, you try it out at 15. If you feel like you need to increase it, it's okay to increase to the comfort, comfort of your level of, um, the t for the treatment. So now that we're all prepared, I want to show you um, Glide. And Glide is using both um, hands on one side of the face. And what you do is you start at the neck, is what I like to do, and come all the way up simultaneously. It's just a glide right up. Simultaneously, they're both your hands are moving on the face. And as you can see, it's just a nice sweeping glide going up to the face. Now cinch, our other move, is 
taking your black glove and what you do is you bring your red glove and you bring it towards the black. So you're getting it towards the black. And remember, do not touch the gloves because it will cancel each other out. And then you will not get a treatment. So you can see how cinch works. You're holding and the red meets to the black. The other move is erase. Now erase is a great, for the erase movement, it's great for them fine lines around your lips and under the eye. So I like to take the black and actually do a little hold up here and just back and forth movements. Just back and forth. And it is what it is, it's just erasing back and forth. The last movement for P1 is hold, and holding is what it is. You get right there and you hold. And it's good to hold in them areas you really want to target, you know, even up in the eye area. It's all holding. And if you want to ask how long do you hold, you could hold about four to eight seconds, depending on those areas you really want to have the current get in there and treat those areas. And then are the four movements used for P1. Okay, now we're going to do a 20-minute session. We've got to turn on our device, and then we're going to set the level of intensity. For someone new to this, you may want to start out at 15, and you can always increase it. You just want it at a level where you can feel it. And as you continue to do your treatments, you may go increasing the level. But if you're not feeling anything at 15, feel free to turn it up at that point. It's not a starting point where that's the only place you need to be at 15. It's a place where we tell you to start and you can move yourself up to where you just feel the current. So starting on the 20 minute session, we're gonna do our movements. Glide. And that's your glide movement. Now we can do the cinch. Remember, cinch is bringing the positive, the red, towards the black. Remember not to touch the gloves because it will cancel each other out and you will not get the treatment. The other move is erase. That's just what it is, back and forth movements. Under the eye, great place for your race. And the last movement is hold. And holding is like targeting areas you really want to get in there and treat. That may be your troubled areas. And then you would do the same movements on the other side for five minutes and repeat it and that would be your 20 minute session.
Now we could go on to the 40 minute session. That's doing 20 minutes on each side of the face. And we're doing them same movements. This is P1, so we do the same movement. Glide. Cinch again is having the positive going towards the negative, which is your black. So you notice I always have the black on top, positive, the red is on the bottom. And then your erase movement, so you're back and forth. And your last movement is hold. This is great for targeting the areas you want to treat more. And after 20 minutes, you would go on to the other side, do the same movements for 20 minutes, and that gives you your 40 minute session. Okay, you must remember when you're doing a 40 minute session that this treatment, the timer only goes 30, but you're only getting a 20 minute treatment that's delivered. So once you do 20 minutes on one side, you have to shut off the device, restart it, and it was to begin at 20 minute, you can do it, go ahead and do your 20 minute treatment on this side of the face. Just always remember it only delivers a 20 minute session at one time and if you want to do more you have to restart the device to do more of treatment. P2 actually does collagen elastin and ATP. What we want to do is Set your um, device to P2 and then set your intensity. You must remember that the intensity on P2 you may want to go up higher because it's not as intense as P1. So once you have your settings, the movements are just upward sweeping movements. Just upward sweeping movements. And P2 also has two different frequencies. Every 10 minutes, so the first 10 minutes, it has one frequency, and then in the second 10 minutes, it changes to a different frequency. My recommendation is doing P1 and P2 alternating every other day. Okay, you must remember that on P2, you're going to be using one hand on one side of the face and the other hand on the other side of the face. So these are the movements, upward sweeping movements is how it's going to be with one hand on one side and one hand on the other side of the face for 20 minutes. And this is how you would do the protocol for P2. Now I'd like to show you specific protocols for particular areas of the face and neck. Now just to let you know that I wet my um, gloves with water and I sprayed with ionic spray. Now I spray ionic spray on this side and that side for the both conducting so I can use either side. So I set my Pico Toner to P1 and I got my levels like we went over before, so everything is set and prepared to go. Now I'm going to show you some specific movements for the neck. And the neck, you really, and remember you can do this because you, this is all conducting. This is a great way to do your neck. 
doing some gliding and holding so we get the crepiness. I like to actually hold under here too. Now we'll get that maybe turkey neck, extra skin underneath the chin. We always forget, you know, when we treat the neck, the neck goes all the way around. So what you want to do is you can even get back here in your neck and bring up. So it's important to actually treat the back of the neck as well as the front of the neck. And that ends how I would do the neck protocol. The next would be your cheeks, your labia, nasal labial folds. And what you do here is a good one is like we did the cinch move. And I also like to hold because we get that nasal labial fold here. Another good thing is to get right in there and maybe just do some little movements like this as well. It helps plump that area. Again, remember not to touch the gloves with each other. Get right underneath there, right underneath the cheekbone. Look for sculpting. Remember good movements for the nasal labio and cheeks. Now what about the lips where we get the fine lines? in the lower lip and above the lip. A good movement is using the erase movement for that. And again, I like to do a little, I'm erasing, but I'm actually doing a little circular movements too. This helps get into the grooves of those fine lines. Let's go down here too. We can go back and forth. And go right over the lips. This is great for plumping. You can hold right on there. And remember when you're doing one movement to one part of the area of your face, you're still kind of doing lifting here. You can lift your eye even and do around your lips. So these are just movements I give you, but there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. And you will get your own movements as well. And holding is also good where we get, makes that current work right in those areas you want to target, in the lips. Next is treating the eye area, giving an eye lift or puffiness around the eye, um, crow's feet. A good way is getting that eye lift. You can lift the eye and you can actually work the crow's feet at the same time. You go underneath is the erase move. Come over here and just hold. Hold those areas. Nice erasing. And that is great for the eye lift. And remember, what you do on one side of the face, you need to come over and do on the other side of the face as well. Okay, now I would like to show you some protocols with the use of the gloves on the body. So you would turn on your device, your gloves are all prepped, turn on the device, and choose P1 and choose your level. Now, your level is going to be higher on the body than it is for the face. 
So you would just adjust accordingly. So I'm going to remember also that this has to be done directly on the skin. So what we're going to do is the decollete. I'm going to get it right in there. And this is where you get sun damage, crepiness area. So you just want to get in there and work upward movements. And also holding movements here is good as well. Just holding and more like gliding upward. And that's how you would do the decollete protocol. Now we can also do our legs. Doing the legs, what you would do is, I like to start on the bottom of my legs and just working all the way up. And just working upwards. I also do holding. So basically for these, I'm doing gliding and holding. This also smooths out your skin, brightens up your skin as well tightens, tones the, the skin, also helps reduce the appearance of cellulite. And to do your buttocks, you could just come on over and roll to your one side and just Work your butt doing the holding and the gliding movements again. I always go up in upward movements. I never pull downwards. And to get the whole entire leg. Just bring your leg out even. Now I think when you're doing a leg, I think a good session is 20 minutes for each leg. So of course what I did onto this leg you're going to be doing over the other leg as well. You can also do the abdomen. Now the, the abdomen is just doing the movements, I like holding as well. This helps to have some cellulite, maybe delivery of babies, being pregnant help reduce the appearance of the cellulite. You can just come up and do sections and holding. Again, it's also important not to touch your gloves with each other on either treatment, face or body, of course. You can just hold. Okay, now I'd like to show you the arm protocol. Now my gloves are ready prepped. I got my setting set. And what I need to do is take the glove that's the red, the positive, which is on my right hand, so I'm going to be treating my right arm. I have to remove this glove and take off the insert. And then put the glove back on without the insert. This is the red, the positive, so my hand. And now I can go ahead and do the arm treatment. So it's important 
but you do not have the insert on the hand that you are treating and it's also important that it's the positive the red that's on your hand of the arm you're treating the negative always does all the work so the negative has the insert in I'm doing upward movements and this is good people have the tricep area the biceps good for holding helps the tighten and tone that skin area also does softening of the skin as well on your elbows And to treat the other arm, you would just do the reverse. You would keep the um, red, the positive glove, on your hand without the insert, and the negative would be doing the work. Okay, now I would like to show you the hand and face treatment together. So I have no inserts on. Um, to do a hand treatment, you could use a stem cell gel, which is fabulous. It rejuvenates your hands, gives a nice youthful appearance by doing the stem cell. Or you can also spray with the ionic spray. Either way, it's a conducting principle and it will work. I am going to use the stem cell gel. So you just need a little dab. You don't need much. It goes a long ways and just rub it in on both sides of your hands. It's very silky, glides very nice. If you choose not to use the stem cell gel, you could use the spray. About 15 sprays for each hand should do it. I happen to like the stem cell. So um, after you get the gel on, just put the gloves in, your gloves on, excuse me without the inserts, obviously. And put the other glove on. I gotta hook this up. Otherwise it doesn't matter which one goes on which. Then I will turn on my Pico Toner to P1 and I will set my level of intensity the difference here is that you are sharing a treatment, so you're giving yourself a hand and a face treatment, so the intensity will have to be increased. And you would just increase the intensity to your um, level of comfort and go ahead and do your 20 or 40 minute session. Now I would like to go over the protocols using the probes. This is a great option to do besides the gloves. Um, I'm going to show you how they work. First of all, with, with the probes, you have to use a gel. We have two great gels. We have just a conducting gliding gel, which is nice, silky, glides on really smooth. Because we also have our stem cell gel. The beauty of our stem cell gel, it rejuvenates. You get a lot of other good um, things that go along with the stem cell. as rejuvenating your skin. Um, and actually, you can keep it on. You don't even have to um, take it off. And to while you're doing the treatment with the gel, you can also use ionic spray in between. Um, if your gel tends to get a little drying, you can just add some spray. What I like to do is um, put some gel in a bowl and then maybe do a couple little spritz, you know, sprays in with the gel and make it, it would be a little thinner and you get a lot more conducting. It's a choice, you don't have to, or you can just do the spray by itself. So we got two probes. You can see that one is a smaller probe and one is a larger probe, which I might have showed you earlier in this video that these are exchangeable. You can have the large one on the negative, the black, or vice versa. 
Anyway, I like the black on the smaller one, the smaller probe, and the red and the larger. So the black always goes on top when we're doing this treatment. So whatever you apply the gel mixture onto your face, and the movements are the same, glide, cinch, erase, and hold. So I'm going to set my, put my device on, P1, and then I'm going to um, set my intensity. Now with the probes, um, depending on what you, I mean, what you would use on the gloves, you may want to just go um, decrease a little more when you start with the probes, just to get where you can find your comfort level, get used to them, and you can always adjust accordingly. You can always turn the level up. So what I do, I mean, where I would stay at with using the probes is probably around 35 or 40 is my level with using these probes. So let's get started with the movements. First movement I'm going to show is glide. And remember, the black is on top, and you're just going to glide up. Gliding. Remember, it's also important that we do not touch the probes with each other. Again, that will cancel each other out. The treatment will not be delivered. It's pretty easy. Why I like the using the probes over the gloves, I mean, I can get into certain areas. I'll get around even the lips. I mean, even though you can do with that with gloves, I just find you can get more in there with this probe. The probe is nice and round and it feels good on the skin. The next movement would be cinch. Um, and we discussed that earlier. The cinch is having the negative up. I like to pull the cheekbone up and then bring the positive, the red, towards the negative. So always Next move is erase. Now using the erase with the probes, I showed you a little bit, it's nice just moving back and forth. And this round little barrel just feels good over the skin. You can also do some rounded movements where we get those fine lines and wrinkles right in here. Just kind of plumps that area, gets into those lines. Even into the cheek area. You get that crepiness into the cheek area. It's good to work on. Great around the eye. This probe works great around the eye, I think. It just goes really smooth around the eye area. So you can get an eye lift by holding the black, the negative up, and working the under eye for puffiness. Or even coming out and working on the crow's feet. So you get like two moons, you're getting two benefits. You're getting an eye lift and you're working in the area of the crow's feet. Again, you can just roll this under here. That's just working because that current is coming out and just working in the area under the eye. The last move is for holding. 
And again, great for holding areas that you really want to target. It's good, and I like to do and plump the lips with this. It's good, and right under here. Putting the probes right on the lips. Or just holding it right there, see? Even the neck area. You get a lot of crepiness in the neck. It's good to hold and target those areas. Also, the eye area is good. Just holding around the eyes. Now, a lot of these moves I show you our basic moves to get to show you how to maneuver the probes. There's always different things that you can do in Target that I may not be showing you here. Now, if you're doing a 20-minute session, we must remember that we have the 10-minute um, frequencies. 10 minutes is one frequency, and then it goes to another frequency. So if you're doing this, you may do five over this side and five over this side, and then we do repeat until you do the 20 minutes. And if you're doing a 40-minute session, then you're going to do 20 minutes on one side of the face and then repeat on the other side 20 minutes using glide, cinch, erase, and hold with P1. And that ends the protocol for the probes. Okay, now I would like to show you how to penetrate product using the probes. First of all, I'm going to be using our stem cell. Now, our stem cell would be the product that we have to also penetrate the product. So you don't need a whole lot of stem cell. I just put a little, what I'm doing is I'm mixing it in a little bowl. And then I use a little fan brush. And I just apply it to the neck. And up onto the forehead. Now our stem cell gives, provides healing and rejuvenation to the skin um, that works with our current, with the Pico Toner. Now when we use penetration product with the probes, you're going to be holding, I'm going to be doing the right side of my face right now. So you're going to be holding the negative, the black probe, in your left hand. And then you're just going to take the red probe, the positive, starting at the neck where I applied the stem cell, and just move up. Upward movements. Now again, I have this set I forgot to explain that I had this set on P1 right now. You could actually use it on P1 or P2. And what I do is I um, penetrate for about five minutes. And the level would be to your comfort level. So just adjust the level to you find a comfort for you. So it's just nice movements going upward. So I like to start at the neck, come up. Just nice upward sweeping movements. Get right under the eye as well. So that would be a five minute 
to do the penetration and then to do the other side you would do the same thing. And that is how you would do the penetration of product using the probes. So just to make it clear, when you're doing your left side of your face for penetration of product, you're going to be applying the, the stem cell, you're going to be holding the negative probe, the black, in your right hand, and then you're actually going to penetrate using the right probe, I mean the red probe, excuse me, on the left side of the face. And you do again for five minutes. Now I am going to show you an exciting concept. We are going to be able to do a hand treatment while we penetrate product on the face. Awesome. So first what I need to do is that I do got my stem cell, which is going to rejuvenate and heal my hands while I'm in the treatment. So I, I'm going to put a little bit in my little bowl here. And I'm going to apply it to my hands. It's going to go like that. So I already had the bowl there. Now, as you can see, I had my quad cable already hooked up on my Pico toner, getting ready to set everything up for this penetration of the product that I'm going to be doing. And so I'm going to be putting on my gloves. And then with my quad cable, I already have a little two black snaps, which are going to both be hooked onto my gloves. They just snap into place. I got my red positive probe. Also ready to hook up to one of the jacks on my quad cable, all ready to go. So what I need to do is maybe just put a little product on my face. Now I'm going to set my Pico toner to P1. And we got to remember I'm penetrating product plus I am giving myself a hand treatment. So you want to set your level accordingly to your comfort. And then you take your red, the positive probe, and you around the face. Upward movements. It's really great because I'm getting a penetration of product and a hand treatment. And you can do both sides of the face. And I would say about five, two to five minutes, it depends. You do about five minutes on each side of the face to penetrate your product. And that's how you would do, use the gloves to penetrate product and a hand treatment.
I just wanted to add that the um, port that you're not using on the quad cable, just have it out of the way, not touching anything, and for it does not ground out. Okay, the last thing I would like to go over is face pad placement. There's a couple of things to remember when we're placing the face pads. We want to make sure our face is very clean and dry. Sometimes using witch hazel on the face or just getting a really clean surface for there's no oils because we know that in our um, face we do have a lot more natural oils than we do on the rest of our body, so that's important. Now, I have a quad cable already hooked up to the Pico toner. So I'm going to show you how to hook these in. Very easy. We have a negative and positive. It just goes right into the port. Again, they slide right into the port. Now the quad cable, obviously, it holds four pads. So you can put four pads on a face at a time. So it's that easy to hook them up. Now I find it a great for pre-treatment areas that you want to focus on more. It's perfect for that. Um, what I would recommend is a 20-minute treatment if you can do when you do the face pad placements. Now setting your um, Pico toner, you would set it on P1. And considering you really don't feel the face pads on your face while you're getting the treatment. So the recommendation is to use the level that you use when you use the gloves. Now what are the places that you would target? Um, we have a great manual for the face pa pads placements for you and one of them is like the neck, the jowls, even into the cheek area, the eyes. Them are really good placements for um, the face pads. But remember the, the ones that we give in the manual are just ones that we um, come out with or just the basic hookups for you. You can always explore and use different hookups as well. Um, so again, I would say about a 20 minute treatment would be great for the using the face pads. And you can also, I mean, if you do one side of the face with four pads, you want to do the other side with using all four pads. You could even do a 10 minute treatment on one side and a 10 minute treatment on the other. But remember to have a clean, dry skin. That's going to be really good to hold your face pads in place. So given that, that would end the um, protocol for the um, face pad placements. Patricia and I wanted to thank you for your purchase of the Pico Toner and um, just wanted to ensure you that you know you're going to really love this device. Uh, everybody does and uh, just wanted to bring out one note that you know the Pico toner comes with the, the gloves as, as part of the initial package there are options with probes and also face pads however just remember you don't need all of that these are just extra tools for you to use to get the enjoyment and and uh, the benefits of what these extra tools can do it's just an option always remember um, you can always just work with the gloves if you choose to and um, we do have other things like the stem cell gels that you can, uh, stem cell molecular gel that you can purchase extra. When you do use the probes, it's a great um, uh, enhancement to uh, the treatment. And uh, also our natural um, sea salt uh, ion sprays you can also use as an enhancement. And um, just remember, if you needed to order ex anything extra with these items, you can give Patricia a call. And uh, Patricia will be glad to uh, help you with some of the options that the Pico Toner has to offer. And no other device will offer these options that you're going to find with the Pico Toner uh, for a personal facial toner. Well, like Tony said, it's a great device. I have it. I use it. I love it. There's a lot of modalities with it. Like I said, you can use the gloves. You can add the probes. You can 
start out with the gloves and you know add on the probes whatever it's a great device go out there and use it have fun with it and enjoy it thank you very much any questions please call me thank you